It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, who would you rather That's have as a QB, Purdy or Kyler? Well, Kyler obviously more physically gifted, but for all the other things, I mean, Brock's teammates love him. Kyler's, we're not sure. Brock, precise on-time passer. Are we playing football or are we trying to make sure everybody's okay with my personality right now? No, that's a big – I mean, you know this. That's a big part I'm, of the I'm, locker room. I'm, I mean, what – The team loves Brock. No, we're, we – We know that Kyler had problems. would you rather have? I'm telling like, you, Kyler you know, Brock. You know, but I'm telling you, because Kyler had issues with his teammates in Arizona. And he's not – I mean – I, I don't think, think with Brock's critique. next contract. Right. I do think that's a They had to put in there to make him study, to watch film. Like, all, it's all the intangible, the on-time pass, and I like that of Brock. I think Kyler's more of a backyard passer. And Kyler, had, I mean, uh, Brock, let's look at this graphic. Big games. This is the playoffs. Look at their record. Two and one, completion percentage, passer rating. I mean, Brock has been good in his two playoff games, really. No. Uh, he, was, he was good in one. Right? You well, didn't he threw he for 300 plus yards and three TDs. Yeah, yeah that's, and that's what. And he was fine in the second one because they won, and he didn't hurt him. He didn't throw yeah, any interceptions. Sure. He was clean. And obviously, Kyler Murray was horrible after a good regular season in his, you know, in his only playoff game. So, yeah, it would be Brock Purdy. And, and I think all those things matter, Greg. If the receivers yeah, alignment, they do matter. Like they do That's matter. What personality and how, what you're bringing yeah. in, in the locker room, as far as your character and your integrity and all the things like that. As far as being a likable guy, I think no brainer. Brock Purdy, I need to win a game. Give me Kyler Murray. Ooh, he just provides too much. Like when you look at Kyler Murray, he is he is what you call a difference maker mm-hmm. under center. You have him as a legitimate threat. If we were to simply just take Kyler Murray and put him in the uniform that Brock Purdy wears and under that center with those, those talented individuals, are we not thinking and believing that they are the outright favorite to win the Super Bowl because of the talent that he provides? I get it, the personality and all the things. But what he can do throwing the football with his legs, it's a no-brainer for me so, in that sense. If we're bringing everything To me, that's in. almost like saying, who you want, Kyrie or Steph? Well, Kyrie maybe could beat Steph one-on-one, but who do I want? I'd rather well, have Steph but so this the is game. where Right, but, I, but they're, they're, this is where I think sometimes we get a little hyperbolic on the Brock Purdy stuff because I don't, I don't think he has – well, neither one of these guys have ascended to the level Kyrie or Steph have in their Agreed. respective sports. I, and by the way, just to be clear, what I was trying to say – when you showed the playoff thing was he was Ky, Brock was great in, in one. First, I wasn't right. saying he was only good. My point was he's played really two playoff games. We right. can throw out the Correct. Eagles game, and he was great against the Seahawks. I did not think he played well at all against the Cowboys. And so I, my point was I thought he had been great in one right. playoff game. Kyler's only played one and was terrible. Horrific. It was downright mm-hmm. awful. And you guys know <laughs> on my criticisms of Kyler Murray. Mm-hmm. I don't love the size now. His size is not as big of a concern as a guy like Bryce Young's size because he's so athletic and, and he's, he's so starting. strong and he's a, just a better – he's faster than, and mm-hmm. more escapable. But if I am if, – if the you, Brew, you said to uh, Craig, it's a hypothetical. Yeah, it's a hypothetical exercise in my opinion. If I don't know who's going to be on my team – then obviously I would rather have Kyler Murray. Exactly. And I would like to ask this question to the group, and I don't know what everyone's going to say. Do you guys think that a year from now, Brock, when he's eligible, Brock Purdy's going to get the type of contract Kyler Murray did? Okay, Because I, I don't. I think it'll depend on I, what he does can I, can next I ask, season can I ask and you the a rest question? of this season. Yeah. It's, draft order is Bears from Carolina, Patriots, then Arizona. If the yeah. Patriots win a, a game or two, it would be Arizona. Yeah. Do you think that Arizona would try to get a quarterback? And yeah, because Kyler and then- it, it, so, but so that's let's that's yes, I think they might because there is such an advantage to the rookie wage scale and all of those things. But I'm what I also think is this: that if salaries were equivalent mm-hmm. and both Brock and Kyler were on the trading block this summer, Kyler would fetch a bit bigger return. I think you right now, the contract makes it very complicated, yeah, so yeah. you can't really do it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But if the contract were not a factor, I think Kyler Murray would undoubtedly get you at least a first-round pick from 15 teams in the league, and 15 might be high depending on you know their quarterback situation. I don't think there would be five teams that would give up their first-round pick. Who's for played Bird. better? But Brock. No question. Okay. Yeah, There's no even, question about okay. that. The but the question, but that's not the question. The question is who would you rather have? It, it should be the answer to the question. What? 
<laughs> I'll take the guy that plays better. I mean, that's sound logic. I mean, oh, okay. up next. y'all can have all the work. bells and whistles. He's slashy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll take the guy that plays better. I mean, you said he was nice in the locker room, though. That's you <laughs> but that's a big part of being a quarterback. If 24-year-old Trevor Lawrence moves to 2-0 and in his career against soon-to-be 27-year-old Lamar Jackson, if Trevor Lawrence, who already has the better playoff resume, who Trevor Lawrence, since they last met, uh, which is what turned the Jaguars franchise around, was beating him, has been over the last 13 months at least the equivalent, if not the better player, if that guy really? gets, yeah, if that guy wins this game, by the way, also for Baltimore, that one seed could quickly become the four seed if they're not careful. They lose this game, they don't have tiebreak with them, they don't have tiebreak with the Chiefs, they have mm. the Niners coming up, all that. Yeah, I mean, Brew. We know you don't respect the Jags' defense. We know you think the Ravens are going to the Super Bowl with a great defense. If Trevor beats this Ravens team against all odds, it's got to, You've got to, you know, apologize for all the terrible things you've said about him and admit it. And right? we do have the first of all. Okay, I have. I, I I don't like the mischaracterization of my relationship with Trevor. My TV relationship with what Trevor. What do you mean? All right? You call him I, have, link. I have inspired him. Oh. He was playing game manager type football. You call him a weak link. Before I put him on the butt list, and then he started playing better. Still not playing great. And you, you, he's playing as well as Lamar. Lamar, last I looked, Lamar is third in the MVP odds. Trevor Trevor has never appeared on the top ten, mm-hmm. at least, or the top seven or whatever we've been showing the entire season. Trevor Lawrence, if he outplays Lamar, first of all, it won't happen. If it does, you know what I'll chalk it up as? Gardner Minshew outplayed Lamar earlier in the season. Uh, Kenny Pickett outplayed well, Lamar. I mean, serious, but then – No, they – it's the oh, NFL. I don't oh. know why y'all can't get this through your heads. You're not going to be great for 17 games. No, but can I – Okay. I told you Philly was going to lose to San Francisco. They did. It happens. And Trevor Lawrence, even if he has or outplays Lamar, he's had one game this season with three touchdowns. No. That's a, he's had three and, in and a row. That game, he's had three in a row. No, bro. three passing. Oh, now it's passing time. Yeah, yeah. Now it's oh, passing. Oh, with Lamar, because, it's been. No, it hasn't been that. Now it's passing because we're talking about a passer. Oh. Lamar is a passer and a runner. Trevor Lawrence is a passer. All right. He's had one game with three passing touchdowns. And that game also had three interceptions, okay? Well okay? He's had one game with a passer rating <laughs> of 125 or more. Wait. Brock Purdy does that every Hold two on. out of every three games. This is about All right, Lamar, so can stop it with the Trevor no. is playing great. He's fine. Okay. I expect more, though, from a guy that I think can be a superstar. But, can, can, but he ain't I guess looking close question, to a superstar right now. My question would be now. this, because since they last played, let's show you their numbers, and these are not just their mm-hmm. passing numbers, Brew. These are their total yards and total touchdowns. Since they last played in November. Then why is yards, Trevor in the MVP race and Lamar is? Can you tell me that? Yeah, because for a number of reasons. One is Trevor has turned the ball over too much. The other is Trevor's team is not uh, pacing for a one. game difference. No, it's a two-game difference, actually. It's 10 Are they 9-4? 10-3, 9-4? No. Were they 8-5? No, the okay, two-game yeah, difference. It's a two-game he difference. He wasn't. When they, they, were, when they, they were in the hunt right, for the one on. seed, Can he wasn't. Can we put those numbers back up? Brew, my, this is what I'm trying to understand. You love Lamar. Who's you having about, a better season? Brew. Bro, let me ask the question, please, so you can under. This is my question. You love Lamar, understandably. You talk about him as one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Talk about Trevor as if he has been mediocre. How do you square that with those numbers? How? Because it's not all about numbers. Because if it were, you would have Brock Purdy as the you MVP. I know how Leader. you square that. It's not just about numbers, it's what you see. Those numbers are skewed because he had a terrific ending of the season last year. If you just take the numbers this year, throw the, them out. The numbers like, this year, Lamar like, has 16 for me, passing touchdowns. For me, this is this is easy. You don't have to fill in the blank because he's not going to outplay Lamar Jackson. The way that oh. Lamar Jackson is playing right now is, a, is on an MVP level. You yeah. mentioned it. Like, he's throwing the football. He's running the football. He's the reason why this team is, is on pace to be the number one overall seed in the AFC. Point blank, they have to win this game because what lies ahead is bigger. Yep. What lies ahead can really derail this team. They can't allow themselves to stoop okay. to the lowly Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, see, this is I my lo- point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to call it. We Trevor don't know who the Jacksonville not, Jaguars are. I think are. Trevor's if, good, but you, you, he's having a if, great season. The, he's having as good if, a season as Lamar Jackson. No, are you really point, saying no, that? No, what I'm saying is I think that Trevor and Lamar's seasons are like this, 
and the way they are discussed on this show is like this. I don't think I we think don't that discuss is, Lamar I think a ton, to be the, honest. And so, and, and, if, one and got if, Trevor, if Trevor wins this game, yeah, and they're nine and five, and the Ravens are ten and four for the quarterback wins, folks. When we all agree the Ravens have the better defense, that, then all of a sudden it might be a little head scratching, especially when you think about the postseason coming up. And one thing Trevor does have already is a better postseason resume. Just makes you think. Uh, it's He's just think. Resume isn't that great. It, you're right. Stop the Mars is all it like it's all that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.